Hi folks, I'm Nicole Gilbert and this is week 12 of the Sampler Spree Slow Along hosted by me, Nicole Gilbert Quilts. And this is following Susan Aki's phenomenal book, Sampler Spree. This video, we are going to be doing block number 42 entitled Building Blocks. You can find this on page 38 of your book. Now, if you are looking at that picture of the final block, you're like, whoa, buddy, there's a lot of little pieces in this guy. And uh, well, you are right. There is a lot of little pieces in this guy. However, instead of piecing together all those little pieces, like can you imagine those nine patches? Those like three quarter inch nine patches? Um, that would be insanity. So instead, this used strip piecing. So we actually created all of these pieces using strip sets. So if you could go ahead, um, if you need a refresher on strip sets, go ahead, visit the link in the video description below because I break down and give a lot of tips and tricks for making strip sets in that video. Uh, but I am going to operate under the assumption that you are comfortable making and cutting strip sets. So now that we've got our strip sets made and our pieces cut, we can create the block. So we're going to set these aside and we're going to set our center stone aside because those are done for now. What we want to do now is create uh, uh, our little nine patches. And the nine patch is going to have this, essentially. And so we need to sew these together. So what we're going to do is we are going to sew one of each together, press them, and then sew the remainders of these to that new set on the opposite side. All right, let's get sewing. So now that that has been sewn together, now it's time to sew this final piece onto the ends to create these little nine patches. And you can see now why it's so much more beneficial to use strip piecing uh, because these pieces are small. And also I'm pinning, even though these are pretty small pieces and I could probably keep them aligned, I'm pinning because the contrast and placement of this nine patch is really what keeps, what gives a, the block a lot of its visual appeal. So we want to pin the crud out of these.
Once your little nine patches are all set to go, now it's just time to build your block. And it's actually way more straightforward than you think. It's just because it looks wild with all these tiny little pieces. But now that we've created these segments, all we're gonna do is we're gonna put our center in. We are gonna have these fun little guys radiate out of the center. And then we're going to place our nine patches in the corners. I mean, how easy is that? It does look busy though, and that's fun. So now we're going to sew all of our rows together. We're going to be using pins a lot in this because we want these lines to line up well. So now it's time to complete our rows. Please, 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 this is really important. Pay close attention to placement because the blocks can be a little bit busy, especially if you didn't use as high contrast colors because I didn't use that high contrast of colors. I used this light mint uh, background and I kind of wish I used a darker color just for uh, one, visual punch and two, for ease of placement. So you want to make sure that you're not twisting and turning anything as you go. Uh, but let's go ahead and finish these rows. so our rows are complete and now it's time to sew them together. It's time to just sew this final piece onto here and you may have noticed I pinned the heck out of this because I really do want to make sure 
that every single seam lines up as well as possible. Okay, folks, there you have it. This is building blocks from Sampler Spree. I can't wait to see what yours looks like, so go ahead and use that hashtag Sampler Spree Slow Along so I can see what you've been up to. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.